Welcome back. Thank you for joining us again. My name again is Michael Dickerson, KC9PHK. I'm here on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club. We have put together this slideshow. Uh, it covers the 2018 to 2022 Technician Class Amateur Radio Question Pool. If you're subscribed, you'll be notified as soon as we upload new videos, this one as well as the future videos. If you're not subscribed, I would encourage you to. It will obviously alert you when we're uploading new videos. There are several other videos to go. These videos typically last around 20 minutes. Some of them have been a little bit longer. A little bit about the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club. We are a newer club located in southeastern Illinois. Uh, we are just approached our two-year anniversary. The information on contacting us is on the last slide of this show. And so we'll get started today covering sub-element T4. Sub-element T4 covers amateur radio practices and station setup. Two exam questions come from the two groups located in this sub-element. T4A covers station setup connecting microphones, reducing unwanted emissions, power source, connecting a computer, RF grounding, connecting digital equipment, and connecting an SWR meter. T4A01, what must be considered to determine the minimum current capacity needed for a transceiver power supply? A, efficiency of the transmitter at full power output. B, receiver and control circuit power. C. Power supply regulation and heat dissipation. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is D. All of these choices are correct. T4A02. How might a computer be used as part of an amateur radio station? A. For logging contacts and contact information. B. For sending or receiving CW. C for generating and decoding digital signals. D, all of these choices are correct. The correct answer is D, all of these choices are correct. T4A03, why should wiring between a power source and radio be heavy gauge wire and kept as short as possible? A, to avoid voltage falling below that needed for proper operation. B. To provide a good counterpoise for the antenna. C. To avoid RF interference. Or D. All of these choices are correct. The correct answer is A. To avoid voltage falling below that needed for proper operation. T4A04. Which computer sound card port is connected to a transceiver's headphone or speaker output for operating digital modes. A. Headphone output. B. Mute. C. Microphone or line input. D. PCI or SDI. Correct answer is C. Microphone or line input. T4A05. What is the proper location for an external SWR meter? A. In series with the feed line between the transmitter and antenna. B. In series with the station's ground. C. In parallel with the push-to-talk line and the antenna. Or D. In series with the power supply cable as close as possible to the radio. Correct answer is A. In series with the feed line between the transmitter and the antenna. T4A06. Which of the following connections might be used between a voice transceiver and a computer for digital operation. A. Receive and transmit mode status and location. B. Antenna and RF power. C. Receive audio, transmit audio, and push to talk, also known as PTT. Or D. NMEA GPS location and DC power. Correct answer is C. Receive audio, transmit audio, and push to talk. T4A07. How is a computer's sound card used when conducting digital communications? A. The sound card communicates between the computer CPU and the video display. B. The sound card records the audio frequency for video display. 
C. The sound card provides audio to the radio's microphone input and converts received audio to digital form. Or D. All of these choices are correct. The correct answer is C. The sound card provides audio to the radio's microphone input and converts received audio to digital form. T4A08. Which of the following conductors provides the lowest impedance to RF signals? A. Round stranded wire. B. Round copper clad steel wire. C. Twisted pair cable. Or D. Flat strap. The correct answer is D. Flat strap. T4A09. Which of the following could you use to cure distorted audio caused by RF current on the shield of a microphone cable? A. Band pass filter. B. Low pass filter. C. Preamplifier. Or D. Ferrite choke. Correct answer is D. Ferrite choke. T4A10. What is the source of a high-pitched whine that varies with engine speed in a mobile transceiver's receive audio? A. The ignition system. B. The alternator. C. The electric fuel pump. D. Anti-lock braking system controllers. Correct answer is B. The alternator. T4A11. Where should the negative return connection of a mobile transceiver's power cable be connected? A. At the battery or engine block ground strap. B. At the antenna mount. C. To any metal part of the vehicle. Or D. Through the transceiver's mounting bracket. Correct answer is A. At the battery or engine block ground strap. Alright, continuing on. T4B. Operating controls. Tuning. Use of filters. Squelch function. AGC. Transceiver operation and memory channels. T4B01. What may happen if a transmitter is operated with the microphone gain set too high? A. The output power might be too high. B. The output signal might become distorted. C. The frequency might vary. D. The SWR might increase. The correct answer is B. The output signal might become distorted. T4B02. Zero 02. Which of the following can be used to enter the operating frequency of a modern transceiver? A. The keypad or VFO knob. B. The CTCSS or DTMF encoder. C. The automatic frequency control. D. All of these choices are correct. The correct answer is A. The keypad or VFO knob. T4B03. What is the purpose of the squelch control on a transceiver? A. To set the highest level of volume desired. B. To set the transmitter power level. C. To adjust the automatic gain control. Or D. To mute receiver output noise when no signal is being received. The correct answer is D. To mute the receiver output noise when no signal is being received. T4B04. What is a way to enable quick access to a favorite frequency on your transceiver? A. Enable the CTCSS tones. B. Store the frequency in a memory channel. C. Disable the CTCSS tones. D. Use the scan mode to select the desired frequency. Correct answer is B. Store the frequency in a memory channel. T4B05. Which of the following would reduce ignition interference to a receiver? A. Change frequency slightly. B. Decrease the squelch setting. C. Turn on the noise blanker. Or D. Use the RIT control. Correct answer is C. Turn on the noise blanker. T4B06. Which of the following controls could be used if the voice pitch of a single sideband signal seems too high or low? A. The AGC or limiter. B. The bandwidth selection. C. The tone squelch. D. The receiver RIT or clarifier. Correct answer is D. The receiver RIT or clarifier. T4B07. 
what does the term RIT mean? A. Receiver input tone. B. Receiver incremental tuning. C. Rectifier inverter test. Or D. Remote input transmitter. Correct answer is B, receiver incremental tuning. T4B08, what is the advantage of having multiple receive bandwidth choices on a multi-mode transceiver? A, permits monitoring several modes at once. B, permits noise or interference reduction by selecting a bandwidth matching the mode. C, increases the number of frequencies that can be stored in memory or D, increases the amount of offset between receive and transmit frequencies. Correct answer is B, permits noise and interference reduction by selecting A, bandwidth matching the mode. T4B09, which of the following is an appropriate receive filter bandwidth for minimizing noise and interference for single sideband reception? A, 500 hertz, B, 1000 hertz, C, 2400 hertz, or D, 5,000 hertz. Correct answer is C, 2400 hertz. B4, or T4B10, which of the following is an appropriate receive filter bandwidth for minimizing noise and interference for CW operation? A, 500 hertz, B, 1,000 hertz, C, 2400 hertz, or D, 5,000 hertz. The correct answer is A, 500 hertz. T4B11. What is the function of automatic gain control or AGC? A. To keep received audio relatively constant. B. To protect an antenna from lightning. C. To eliminate RF on the station cabling. D. Geonimeter control used. D. An asymmetric goniometer control used for antenna matching? Correct answer is A, to keep received audio relatively constant. T4B12, which of the following could be used to remove power line noise or ignition noise? A, squelch, B, noise blanker, C, notch filter, or D, all of these choices are correct. Correct answer is B, noise blanker. T4B13, which of the following is a use for the scanning function of an FM transceiver? A, to check incoming signal deviation. B, to prevent interference to nearby repeaters. C, to scan through a range of frequencies to check for activity. Or D, to check for messages left on a digital bulletin board. Correct answer is C, to scan through a range of frequencies to check for activity. All right, that concludes this video of our series. Uh, these slides, again, may be used for non-commercial use for amateur radio license preparation and amateur radio classes with reference to the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club as the developer. Also, please reference our website, www.claycountyradio.webs.com. I would encourage you to subscribe if you have not already follow along as we release more videos. Thank you.